Let's go over some balance changes for this update. So uh, one of the bigger ones was the rework to Sada. If you didn't see it, there's a huge list of changes. And basically she got reworked. I would say it's more of a buff than a nerf. Because there's, well, the changes were mostly buffs to her abilities when you have stuns or slows on balloons. Uh, just to make the, uh, just to make your, just not like a, you know, set and forget tower, I think they said. We're also going to do Peninsula Chimps to see, well, how this buff affects Sada. The cool thing about Sada too is that, well, again, since you have exactly the money to start on her when Chimps mode, then, yeah. Works just perfect on, on Peninsula. Let's just make sure around 7's possible. I'm going to have Sada on last, I think. Oh, actually, it misses greens. Hmm. Also, I will say this will be a black border run, because right now I only have the red badge for Peninsula. But today we're finally going to upgrade it to the black version, and okay. This spot apparently does better. That's nice. I wonder how long you can last with Sada. Well, not very long, it seems. I'll do a sniper to sniper this round. Back on strong. Uh, back on first. Gotta do some sniper micro, I guess. Because she do be leaking. And not just in-game. That'll be the last of the quotable lines for today. I think what a lot of people do after this is to go for, I think, two snipers. But we'll see how long we can, again, survive with just this. Because I'm thinking, I guess, for my overall strategy, Perma Spike is just really good. Because if I'm going for stuff like stunts and slows to synergize with Sada, then it would be good to have a Perma Spike. Because that benefits from rounds taking a long time. Longer rounds, more spikes. And also a single lane target map, so... Promo Spike works perfectly. Okay, I might need to uh, use ability. Nope, we're good. Survive just by hair. Now, how much does this cost to remove? $500, okay. If I can beat 13 and 14, I can probably just go for the uh, Spectre next. Okay, it'll be good if I can get away with not using ability here. Good. And if we beat this round, then we can get the Spectre. Um, I'm just going to use the ability there. I don't think that was going to work. Okay. Don't think... I think we're fine for 15. Because, again, spikes can build up. Tank everything that leaks. Nice. But, yeah, after Perma Spike, I am going to be just giving, uh, like, lots of stuns, lots of slows, lots of uh, whatever status effect. Because it gets so much synergy with her abilities now. Apparently, it's like... Uh, Ninja Kiwi says it's double damage on average, but... Just for the abilities themselves, it's it's a lot more than double if you can, you know, use the ability while it's a balloon is has a stat effect on it. I think on top of that, they increased the duration of the Leaping Sword, like, per level. So, and now overall, it lasts a lot longer. So, at, I think, level 20, it lasts for 15 seconds. Before, it was 10. And even before uh, this update, level 19 was only 5 seconds. It was, like, a big spike from 19 to 20. But now it's a nice slow progression. But yeah, thinking about good synergies, yeah, certainly Glue Storm, because that constantly applies glue to it. I was also thinking maybe, uh, I don't know, actually Mob Glue. Since I already have Sniper, I think I'd also go for a Mamo Web. Also, I went for a Top Hat Spike, just one, because it helps the early game, and two, uh, I know when we output the Perma Spike, 0 to 5 is a little bit better, but I'm also thinking maybe, I don't know, Absolute Zero might be a fun thing to try out with Sada, since again, that slow lasts so long on Moab's. Uh, not sure exactly, again, what kind of stat stats I want to get later on. We'll find out after Perma Spike. Uh, this round, I'll buy this. Also, I think I'll do the following. Since I think I can maybe squeeze out some money-saving tactics right now, discount Village super early. I'm going to turn this into, like, a, a main Moab, I think. And also, yes, in case you guys don't know, the uh, stun and the uh, slow effects actually stacks on Sada, so apparently, I, I didn't know this actually until just recently when I looked into it a little bit more. If you look at level 7, it only works if they're stunned. It's level 11 where you get the uh, extra damage to slow balloons, and it's actually additive. I thought before it was just, uh, you know, if you get any of them, it works, but the fact that it's both means, uh, yeah. Main mob is worth it. What's going to be the save up tower? That's a good question. Because, yeah, I can't save up for Perma Spike right now. I was thinking maybe Sniper is not Elite Sniper, but maybe just a Bouncing Bullet. Because I don't want to waste too much money on. I don't know. I'm kind of putting, trying to put a lot of DPS on Asada with Perma Spike as a cleanup, if that makes sense. 
But yeah, I would say that main mob does not allow a good way stack at this time because <laughs> it's either you go for like Balloon Crush, which is $50,000. Star Obama is like very uh, sketchy. Biggest one is expensive. Uh, so yeah, Bouncing Bullet. I think I want to go for uh, 022 now, right? Yeah. I think we'll probably do something like Alt buffing an 032, which probably works early game. Now I just need mob damage, so uh, I think we rush the main mob before before we get from Spike. Also, this is gonna be sketchy because I gotta use the uh, Leaping Sword now. Okay, good. Again, as you see, I don't have the mob bomb power yet, but that's why I need to go for main mob like pretty much right now, and then hopefully that affords uh, from Spike before 63. Because yeah, I'm thinking this defense, like if you add Alpha for this, th this not gonna be 63. I didn't do the math on it. I'm just hoping it works, I guess. So, do we make 32, 4, and 14 rounds? We will find out. Oh, but okay. I, I forgot to mention earlier. But if I'm going for absolute zero, uh, if you don't go uh, top path 205 and you just alpha up an 025, it, like the frozen balloons cock block the promise spike. So, I'm afraid that if I do use absolute zero at a bad time, like when it's above the promise spike pile, all those spikes will just get annihilated because it doesn't have frozen properties. That's the main reason why I went for a uh, top path. In case you're wondering. It appears I'm lacking uh, balloon damage, like, badly. Because you see those rams are just kind of running by. There's no- yeah, I can't afford this in time. Apparently, though, you might be able to cycle her abilities. 1-2-1 one, one, to be 63. I just don't know if it'll work for, like, I guess the other rounds. Since, like, even right now, it's kind of partially sketch. Being a fourth tier out buff? Yeah, it's a lot of money, though. I'm just trying to see if I can... You know, save up on that. And also, I can't place the tower next to this because I'm thinking I want to put my ice here and pretty sure I can't place two tiny towers. I don't want to risk it in case it ends up, you know, not being able to fit another ice tower. Because again, I can't go back out of the round. Also, uh, camel lads are fine, right? Yeah, bouncing, bouncing's got it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do the 63 with only your abilities. Yeah, I'm like well short. So, uh, here's what I think I'll do. You want to set the strong so that the, uh, the jump attack targets ceramics. And uh that didn't look like it did a lot. No, no, it did, it did. That's good, that's good. Okay. So we use Sword Charge for wave two, and then pray it comes up for wave three, which I think it does. Sword charge now, I guess. And let's see. Uh, timing? Yep, it's in, it's in. We're in, boys. Just wait. Uh ledger gonna kill us, isn't it? Or not. Okay. Nice. Leaping Sword. Fairly, fairly decent. And that was without any of the, uh, the extra buffs. Because right now I only get stun bonus, but we didn't really get that since none of the wounds were all stunned. And yeah, I think, I think if we can just hold the next few rounds, which I think we can, Perma Spike is, uh, easily saved up. Again, you're not seeing much of Sada's changes right now. It's pretty much just how Sada was last update, minus a few, well, reworks. But her true power is yet to be shown. I'll probably just use the sword ability just to save the spikes. In case I actually do die to ceramics. Yeah, look how long the duration is. Like, again, it gets 0.5 seconds every level. Right now, that was like 40% uh, of time on it. Also, we're fine here, right? Like, I think that's the reason why I would say this is a general buff for Sada. Because the sword lasts a lot longer at pretty much all points of the game. Despite it being, uh, well, weaker at base. And yep, I can get from a spike. Alright, so now I don't have a game plan for the rest. We're just gonna wing it. Alright? So, uh, I want probably Absolute Zero. Probably Glue Storm. Why not both, I guess? That's gonna be our uh, backup in case Sada actually doesn't do enough damage. Alright, it's ice time. So, uh, gonna go top path for the Permafrost. Also, I'll buy this. Now, apparently, the uh, if you use the Absolute Zero ability and uh, it wears out, the Permafrost, I think think still, like, gets you extra damage on Sada. Correct me if I'm wrong about that. But that also makes it, well, an even nicer synergy. So, I get, yeah, we'll go for that next. On top of that, yes, I want ice just so I get more things in range I can put around here. Because, again, since she's, like, a sh short range, her main attacks do do extra power, too, but they didn't really buff that this update. It was really just the abilities, but I still prefer having things next, right next to Sada. So maybe a more blue. Okay, I gotta kind of be careful about this. This after is creating a Rio farm. So, uh, I mean, I personally probably tanks it, but you know, 
Just in case it doesn't, I gotta keep my eye out for that that file this round. All right, and now we get up to zero. So, yep, this main attack even works on mobs too, right? So, yeah, there's a really good combo when you just put it literally right next to Sada. Guess I could also show you the damage right now, single targets with Leaping Sword. Again, while we have the stun attack on it, it's not bad. Actually, that's actually more than not bad. That's like 2,000 damage from that sword alone. Yeah, here's another one. And just like that. Yeah, that, that, that Leaping Sword just shreds mobs now. Pretty crazy. I also forgot to use the up to zero that round, so I could have, again, got a double stack on that sword ability. I'll make sure to do that again next time. All right, just watch this here. I have a stun and a slow. Watch how much damage that sword is doing to the BFBs. And then we can kind of clean up with a... It's not like a sword charge. Granted, I shouldn't be doing that because... Like, for, for the later rounds, because... You want to stall the rounds out for Pro Spike to get beefier. So it's probably better to leave the sword in first. Just so you don't, uh... Yeah. Have all that... All the strong boots popping at once. I think next on the list is, uh, I think a Moklu would be a fine option somewhere up here, just to add a slow. And also, I'd probably get another one down here, too, just because this one only gets the entrance. Okay, here's a great time to try out Sada's ability, because, again, we have a slow and a stun, so we will be double stacking. So, use one, and let's watch how quickly Azumji dies with just that one sword ability. Yeah, I pretty much almost popped it. <laughs> That's how nutty it is. And again, we're not even at level 20 Sada yet. Which we'll get soon. Okay, so village. I guess I'm gonna commit to a blue and ice combo. Because that sounds pretty fun. Before that though, uh, discount village. And uh, primary terrain for more range. So more blue and uh, you can still get the plus two damage. Even with more blue. So I guess we might as well go for a blue storm as well. Because why not? So it looks like this chimps run is just gonna be Sada plus Prima Spike plus all support. The way it's looking. And I'll, ha I'll probably have extra money, too, after Glue Storm. You think there's enough money for a, a Shattering Shells, too? With all this stuff? We'll see. But that would be my choice, if there is enough money. Also, we don't need to get bad damage, right? Because so Sada's Leaping Sword is basically... Well, actually, I don't know. The thing is... Yeah, I guess it doesn't benefit from the extra stun slash slow. Because you can't add those on a bad. But I think we're fine if we just get from a Spike Tank it. I don't know. I don't know if 100 is a round to worry about, but... Eh. We'll see what the money is first, so... Time to start spamming the abilities. So, Shattering Shells. Not to mention, the Bernie stuff also gives you an extra status effect. In case, you know, you missed one. We pretty much got all the whole gang. We got an Ice Slow. We got more Blue. Got Bernie stuff. We're missing Acid, of course. Yeah, why haven't outbuffed Saudi yet? Guess because I don't need to. Alright, level 17 Sada. We'll just use the ability just to show you how much, I guess, it's doing. I guess if you just look at that pop count, it is certainly skyrocketing. Like, it's nice that this thing got buffed and damaged so much. When you, again, do have buffs, so it synergizes well with Perma Spike, which basically is, uh, like, something you want to pair up with something that does good damage, maybe unreliably, which an ability, I would say, kind of falls into that. But yeah, there's plenty of money left over. So Hada's basically an ability hero, yeah. I mean, her main DPS still isn't terrible, but it's definitely outshadowed. Also, put the Leaving Sword in close. I think it's better that way. If, if like, the mobs pop so that the aptitude can slow down. Because before on first, it keeps, like, getting in between the Perma Spike and Thada, which you kind of don't want. You also, again, don't want on Strong. So close, I think, is the perfect targeting for the Leaving Sword. Is Sada going to get level 20 before round 100, by the way? Because why does this feel like it's we're not going to? Guess I overestimated her leveling speed. Anyways, round 98. Again, pretty much waiting till the end for those EMGs. Uh, don't want to pop those EMGs just yet, so that we don't pop literally a billion balloons at once. Stacked them pretty heavily, though. Okay. So, you want close now? And there we go. Let that DOT go to work. On advanced map, she stops at 18. Okay. Mm, should I spend money at level, level 20? Because you do get a big boost. Eh, I guess not then. I mean, I guess it's really only for the sword charge. Because that's... You get three swipe through instead of one. But I guess I'm also not really using the swipe very much. Also, it's leaping sword time for 98. No matter what we leak here, Perma Spike can de definitely tank, tank the rest. So, it should be all in all 
a free, a freebie, right? Uh, use another slow. Yeah, there's there's plenty of spikes there. Don't really gotta worry. All right, so what is glue storm here and the leaping sword DT is, and we'll let Promise Spike do the rest. And I think that fellas is, is a GG. But before that, let's see how much damage Sato will do to this. I also do realize I can drop glue in it, so there is at least that duty on it. It's actually not as good as I thought. Not gonna lie, this thing kind of stole the show and pops. 400k. I was kind of, I kind of thought Sato would be at a million by now. But I guess I overestimated it. Also, we are not popping this thing. <laughs> I'm not sure if I've actually, I've actually won yet, but... I should time the first strike, so once the Prone Strike st starts hitting it... We, well, strike. So, wait for it. Now. That should be good, right? I'll use this. I'll use Sword Charge, uh... Now. That did nothing. Yeah, that should stall long enough for us to have enough spikes. Although, uh, yeah, that was... Harder than I thought, at least for around 100. If I didn't get first strike there, things might have been different. But GG. Was mainly trying to showcase the, uh, Sada buff, but... Honestly, it was kind of more still... A promo side is still a good showcase. More than it was Sada, but still. Uh, I think this update... It's somewhat viable, I guess, to... Combo Sada with the, uh, slows and the stuns. As for whether it's good... I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys.